Welcome back everyone to Pikmin 3. Day 3 was a big success. Gained some more Pikmins, a lot of fruit, and found the crazy armored maw psychedelic boss monster. We're full on juice, now it's time to find Charlie. I think that's going to be our main objective in Day 4, beating the boss and finding the captain. We encountered some sort of gigantic centipede lying in wait in a dimly lit cave. Attacks from the red Pikmin seem to have no hope of getting through the monster's crystal exoskeleton. The mysterious signal is coming from inside it, but why? I'm afraid that the only way out, the only way to find out, rather, is by defeating this creature. Well, the only way out is probably by defeating him as well, if we hope to progress forward. Thanks so much for all the support and likes on the past videos. Keep smashing that like button, add to your favorites if you're excited for more and are liking this new series here on the channel. Exploration Day 4 will take us back to the freaking garden where we hope to defeat a Croco Maw. What is the thing called? Armored Maw, Goober Maw, a Garden of Hope, day four. Let's bring the Drake down and try our best to defeat this clown. Whew. Gonna take the Onion Pikmin, the Onion Pikmin, gonna take the Rock Pikmin from the Onion into the cave. Should I bring some of the red guys too? I, I think, I don't know, it seems like a, a risky move. All right, we land down. What's up, what's up, what's up? Come to Papa. I've got 21 of these guys. Um, might as well just bring everybody. Why not, right? 88 is a grand number. Come to Daddy. Um, let's have these guys go over here and get this. Kerblow! Let's go kill that. Might as well just get a few extra rock Pikmin. Um, right off the bat, why not, right? While we still can. Go and pick it up, please. Or not. There you go. Grab it, grab it, grub it, grow. Carry it back to and fro. Plant some Pikmin. I want them. Come here, you freaks. You rock little men. All right. No, 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 no. We don't want to do any of that nonsense. All right. I'm sorry. They're not freaks. They're beautiful creatures. Um, I love all you guys' comments about is it a small world? Is it a big world? And, like, you guys seem to know what you're talking about. Apparently, this is secretly most likely planet Earth, and therefore these guys are a little bearded creatures. Um, we gotta go back to that scary, scary land um, where the evil maw monster is, and I believe it's over this way. Whoa, don't fall into the river. Ugh. So, across the land, we have some, uh, some purple-headed rock Pikmin here, and we're making our way straight for the evil maw. Hmm. Hopefully this goes well. I'm a little bit nervous. I do have such a big... One of my guys is already lost. Alright, well, we'll find him on the way back. Some of them get so stuck on the corners and edges, it's a little bit tricky. But, in we go. The sleeping giant awaits, and he's crazier than ever. Alright, I want to kind of get away from his mouth. Bust him up. Bust him up. Bust him up. Everybody come back. We're going to get away from this guy. Nope. No. All right. There we go. Smash his face. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Whistle, whistle while you work. I don't know why they're fighting against mushrooms. Hey. Hit his freaking skin. Crack his craw. Is that a word? Oh god. Get up. No, 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 no. Oh no, he got a few of them. Holy crap, Oli. Come here, Rock Pikmin. Need all your freaking power and might. No, 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 no. Here it comes. Ugh. Okay, we just about missed him. Crack, crack, rock, crew. Oh, he's cracking. He's bleeding. He's turning into freaking soggy cereal. Come on. All my guys get very distracted here in the cave, don't they? Which I don't really understand why. I guess they're just afraid of this duber. Come on. Everybody hold it together. We gotta crack his... Can, oh my god. Get away! Everybody's running in the line. This is not Disney World. Stop. Bust him loose. Bust him. Oh no, 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 no. Nope. Ugh. Captured a few, it looks like. We're doing okay overall. Come on. Crush his crystals. No, no, no. Not the, not the red dudes. They don't do nothing. Alright. We got this guy. He ain't so scary up close and personal, is he? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop doing that dance. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Break his freaking back. Oh, we're crushing him. We're cracking him. Where's he going? Where's he going? I'm worried. This is not a good move. I've never seen this move set. Oh, he's just chilling on the wall. Okay. Pick him in. Pick him in. Come to me. I gotta throw you. All right. He's really in pain. We'll take him down for sure. A couple more strikes from the rockers. Bust a move. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good work, guys. Come to Mappa. Come to Papa. That's a combination. Mappa is a combination of, of mom and papa. In the same word. All right. I like how he just goes and chills on the wall here. No. All right. His scales are almost shattered. Come here, Rock Man. Come to me. Oh, he's just chilling on the wall. Okay. Nope, nope. Run out the way. Uh, yes. All right. We survive another day. Throw him right here. Right on the front of his body. Good work. Good work. Oh, my God. His little blue body is almost exposed for our pleasure. Our smashing pleasure. That doesn't sound weird at all, does it? All right. All we got to do is get his crystal head and his tail. His tail. Throw the red Pikmin on his body. Not going to work yet. All right. I guess we should bust everything up first. I was going to see if those guys could do some damage. Oh. Right here. There we go. Okay, almost. 100% damage is in sight. Keep busting his tail. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we are taking care of this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He scattered everybody. What a charging demon. Here, break that last crystal patch on your back. There's no icicle party. You can't just do all that. Come on, come on. I'm trying to keep everybody in one big group so that they don't die from this guy. All right, we almost got him. Right here. Break it, break it, yes. Now go for his head. All right, his entire body is exposed. Now all that's in the, where did it go? Where did it go? Coming down over here. Oh God, here it comes. He's going to chomp the Pikmin. All right, we just got him in the head. Right in the head. Crush his cranium. Oh my god. This guy is really awesome. One of our Pikmin perished. But it's okay. We're gonna live another day. Oh. Hold on. Alf has something to read. Armored Maw. It's soft on the inside. Alright, so I'm guessing now if we throw the red Pikmin at him. Should be able to do some serious damage. Let's see. Red Pikmin. Go to town. Bite him. Oh my god. They're riding him. And doing serious damage to his soft little skin. <gasps> Inside, he's like a freaking dummy worm. Outside, he may be a crystal skull demon sprite whale. But I think once more with feeling, we should be able to wreck him. All right, come here. Come on, Red Pikmin. Get on his body. Come on, he keeps going across the room so fast. This is an epic adventure. Where'd it go? Right here. All right, we're gonna get him this time. Come on, Pikmin. Don't let this guy fool you. He ain't so scary. Ah, get him on the head, crush his freaking skull. Those red guys are doing work. He's down to the red zone. Come here, Pikmin, wake the freak up, I need your help. Where is he coming from? I don't even see him, oh, there he is, okay. All right. Attack, 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 Get the red guy's on his soft body. Chomp down. Oh, God, it's a party. <gasps> He's dead for the count. Down for the count. Oh, my God. One sliver left. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Pikmin is getting a little bit tired and sleepy. But we will refresh them. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Nope. Nope. Oh, he got a couple guys. But we're going to take him out right here. Finish him! <gasps> Woo! He kind of looks like Randall from Monsters, Inc. And he just vomited out something. A cell phone! And a gigantic fruit flower. Look at the poor baby's tongue. Kind of looks like he's got some swollen taste buds, but who cares? This was giving off that signal, but what does this mean for the captain's whereabouts? It isn't, Charlie. It's some random phone. I guess for now we should take this back to the Drake for analysis. I think it might be of some use to us. Ooh. 
Mission accomplished. Let's carry out. Uh, let's have the strong dudes carry the phone. Everybody, you guys get on that. Get on it. And then you guys get on. Uh, put, well, not Bethany. Brittany. No, stop it. Everybody come back. Come back. Pikmin. Red guys. Carry this giant fruit. 15. Gonna produce enough juice to feed a village, it looks like. And then. Can the rock guys carry this dude back? Oh my god, we're gonna carry the whole, <laughs> the whole hulking boss back to base. Everybody help out. Alright, 2089 to 30 of you. Carrying that guy back to camp. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew, that was awesome. Armored Maw Dad, smash him, we did. We killed him. I probably didn't need to take off that much crystal off his body, but... Oh well, we did what we needed to. We killed the first boss. What's awesome about Pikmin is you can kind of, you know, they give you sort of some guidelines like, hey, you want to find Charlie, you want to find Brittany, you need fruits and stuff. But also, like, it's a little bit open world in the sense that we can kind of do um, what we feel is best for that day, and it gives you a little bit of freedom uh, to make awesome stuff happen at your own, you know, choosing, at your own pace and at your own you know, timing what you want to do on what day, so it's not like a set structure where you have to do this, that, this day, or you have to do that, that day. You can kind of pick and choose what you want to do and what you want to focus on um, as the days progress and continue. And, like, if we beat the boss on day four, maybe somebody else on day five, maybe somebody else on day three, and it all works out peachy keen fine, which I think is cool and I appreciate. Um, anybody up here? Can I throw Brittany up here? Let's see. Brittany, can you get up there? Let's see. I can get Pikmin up there, so maybe I can get Brittany up there with the appropriate angle. No? Brittany, how come you don't go up there? Yeah, she doesn't seem to want to get up there. Anyways. Where's the carry squad? Hopefully they're making their way back to camp. Nope, they're still on the move. <laughs> The freight train of fruits and booty is making its way back to the onion. I don't know what this giant phone is going to do for us. We'll have to figure it out. I feel like time is passing really quickly today. I really feel like it is. Like, we've only been, what, playing for like 10 minutes or so? It seems like the day's almost over. I thought they were all 20 minutes, but perhaps when we're fighting bosses, things get crazy faster. All right, let's bring this back and see what it says. Maybe our friend Charlie is not so far off. I'm guessing this is going to sprout a lot of Pikmin from the gigantic body. Recovering the phone, sucked it inside to our spaceship drone. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. And it says... Analyzing recovered item. It's a data glutton. Analysis complete. An ancient communications device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is emitting a signal even now. If I integrate this device into the Drake's communication system, I should be able to boost our signal strength. Looks like it's going to be an all-nighter for me. Alf goes to work. The Rock Pikmin say good day. Um, alright, Rock Pikmin get in here. Carry this thing. We sprout a lot of Pikmin. Just as the number of Pikmin in the field reached 100, the onion stops spitting out seeds. Oh no! The Pikmin inside the onion seem to be increasing in number. Apparently, once the service population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. Oh, okay. Indoor birth. I like it. This means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be actively outside the onion at any one time. Good to know. There can only be 100 Pikmin at any time. All right. And then the fruit will suck that back into the onion. Good for our health. We'll pluck these. Actually, let's leave some of these guys planted for now. Um... Oh, uh, I guess not. One Pikmin is missing. Where is he? Oh, I see where he is. Okay. Hang on. Let me let me uh, put these guys back in... Back in the saddle. There's a lot of Pikmin now. We have a hundred and... Uh, what? That's a hundred and thirty. And then... Out here, there's one more. Let's see if I can go get him. Brittany, let's go find our stray Pikmin. This guy, hello! Alright. Here's one lost... Little scout, where is the other? I didn't travel too far, unless he's stuck. I think he's stuck in the Maw's chamber. The crystal Maw, poor baby. 
All right, well, there's not much else we can do during this day. Not a whole lot of time. I'll leave this Pikmin, these Pikmin here. I'm Well, actually, I'm going to pluck them on the slight chance that we don't return here um, next day. Because I, th I think we got to find Charlie, and he doesn't seem to be in this area. 137 Pikmin. It's a lot of Pikmin. Um, we've got a lot of juices. Three juice already in the stores and a big new fruit. Hmm. Maybe that cell phone can lead us to the next place. Because I don't think there's much else around here. There was that obstacle course-ish looking area. But that was kind of full of electric fences and probably a need for some other kind of Pikmin. Right now, with rock and red, we might have just about cleared out the objectives in this area. Oh, I could have popped out a few more guys, but hey. We're doing pretty good. Took down that soft little centipede wearing the crystal disguise. And uh, actually... I was going to try to get a few more, but I think we'll just call it a day here. Um, that day seemed so short. It seemed like time passed at like one and a half times the normal speed. So we'll go back to the, the ship and read our journal and, and see what's going to happen for next day before we wrap up here. Rock Pikmin, it's you! I found you! I thought it was a guy lost in the mall, but it's not. It's this duber and I saved everyone. So the only Pikmin's that, uh... That bit the dust this time were the few that the evil arch enemy centipede well decided to chomp in his sharp, sharp teeth. Without further ado, though, five, four, three, the slowest countdown ever, ever, ever. Two, one. Get back in your spaceship, boys and girls. It's time to take off to a faraway land. Alf and Brittany, pretty successful day. We beat the boss, recovered his cell phone, got a ton of new Pikmin, maxed out our squad, and now jump back into the Drake. I like how I can just suck everyone up. Like, freaking abduction style. Pretty darn cool. The tentacles release. The big guys say, hey, where's our food? Up. Oh, sorry, I saved everyone. You dinguses. The bulb orbs don't get nothing from us. And we proudly ascend to the skies above. Feeling good about ourselves. Hee hee hee, new fruit's great! Fire breathing feast. Analyze this bad boy. One jar of delicious juice. That's two jars of delicious pinkish purple juice. Do we get a third? <gasps> yes, that's three jars of delicious fire-breathing feast juice. And now we are uh, stocked up for quite a while. The pantry is just pulsating with colors. Well then, bottoms up, says Brittany. Chow down on some juice here to survive the night. We still have five left, which is great. We have enough food to last us for a short while at least. Good, good, good. Day four is a success. We take down the boss. Recover the phone and make a huge Pikmin gain towards the end of the level. Let's see what they have to say upon completion here. Brittany is now in charge and she says, We recovered the communications device that was inside the armored Maw Dad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communication range. I've never seen him so excited he can't tear himself away from the thing. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent says Madame Brittany. And now, day four, where is it going to take us? Well, day five, I guess, right? Because that was day four. Getting my numbers all mixed up in my head here. Exploration day five is upon us. And the crew looking around. Searching for... Ooh. <gasps> Looks like we might have found... Our friend Charlie off in the distant tundra. Good work, Alf. You've really expanded our receiver range. There's an unknown signal coming from over there. A food type signal. Then what are we waiting for? No. I don't think that's it. I think it's Charlie. I've got a feeling that this time the signal really is coming from the captain. Let's go and see. All right. Landing down in the snowy abyss is our plan for the next episode. If you're ready for that one and want to see it to now, smash that like button. 
add to your favorites. Until that time, though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.